Hello everyone. So I'm filming this on my phone. I don't know how good the quality is going to be, but we'll just figure it out I suppose. So I'm on the hunt for stable mates today. I'm doing a mini road trip for unrelated reasons, but there are a lot of Walmarts on the way, so I really want to find that stupid Bay Django. And there's a Cracker Barrel as well, so I'm going to go try to find a blue albicorn, which I'm sure I will not find, but it is the thought that counts. So I'm just approaching my first Walmart right now. It's a really gross day out. We had a snowstorm last night. You can probably hear my windshield wipers going. It's just been generally crappy, so I'm happy that I will be making a lot of stops on this trip because the roads are not pretty. So without further ado, we are heading to my first Wally World. Not holding out hope for that Django. Looks like we just got these dudes. I keep finding. They do have some blind bags though, so I'm gonna see if there's a pinky in here. But I doubt it, because my luck has been really bad with these lately. So first Walmart was a bust. They had like one package of the mystery stable mates that was maybe like two thirds of the way full and there was a lot of dungarees and a lot of running thoroughbreds but unfortunately no pink Icelandic and they had that same repackaged set with the four other guys and not the Walmart exclusive one with the Django and the Tushar. So on to the next one. God, Walmart is such a cursed place. Please Walmart, I want this night. <gasps> hey! Nice, cool. Okay, so they've only got two of them, but this guy has much darker shading, especially in the barrel, so I think he is the easy choice, but ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna check the blind bags too, just in case. Oh, hell yeah, we don't have just one, but we have like two boxes to look through. Best part about doing this at like 11 a.m. on a weekday is that there's nobody here to actually stay, and he's sitting on the floor of Walmart and feeling up blind bags with tiny horses in the toy department when I'm 23 years old. It's great. So unfortunately blind bags were a bust at this one. They literally had like eight of the drafter, but unfortunately no Icelandic set, but I did get the Django set, which is my biggest concern for today. The chase piece is gonna be one of those things where it's like, if I find it, I find it. And if I don't, I'm not really gonna seek him out on the secondary market. It's more just the fact that I haven't actually found him yet that makes me want him more. Cause I really don't like pink. I like the Icelandic mold, but I really do not like pink. At this point, it's more just a matter of actually having the glory of finding the chase piece versus owning it per se. So I'm gonna make my last Walmart stop as I planned just in case. I'm gonna have to pay a toll to get back on the highway after this Walmart so they better have a McFreakin pinky or I'm gonna scream. Well this parking lot is a wee bit scary. Sad. They do have a buttload of Django sets though so I'm probably gonna pick up an extra one just so I have a few to choose from. Oops. So yep, unfortunately that Walmart was completely out of blind bags. So I have one last stop on this interesting little journey that I've had today, and it is Cracker Barrel. I actually was here like a couple weeks ago for a completely unrelated thing, and they didn't have the blind bags yet, but I think that's when they first started showing up, so it's like one of those things where it's like, it's here, I'm here, might as well. Wow. I'm so sad! Oh my god, every time I go into a Cracker Barrel, I feel like I need to just take a puff of city smog because it's just my own personal hell in there. So unfortunately, as I expected, they did not have any unicorn stable mates at Cracker Barrel. But you know what? Today was successful. I got not one but two Django sets, and that was my main concern for today. There's still one more Cracker Barrel around me that I want to check out, but it's a little bit too out of the way today. But hopefully I will get my goth albicorn someday and my weird pink Icelandic thing. I got the Django, so I'm really happy. So I just got a chance to finally open these guys and we are going to take a little look-see at them. I figured we might as well start off with the guy that brought me here which is the Bay Django and oh my god this horse is stunning especially considering it's a relatively cheap Walmart special run like this entire set was $9.97 so that's $2.50 a stable mate which is pretty cheap considering I believe that the current retail price for a stable mate if you buy it at like a dealer or something is $3.99 but he's just this awesome super contrasty bay and honestly I think he is the nicest horse they've released on the Django mold so far I cannot wait to show this little dude the bay color compliments him so well I am so over the moon with him this is the G2 Shetland, which I'll admit is by far my least favorite of the group. He's a little tiny bit flat as far as color goes. This isn't my favorite mold ever, I always thought he was a little bit cartoony. And unfortunately, he does have this like giant gaping 
gash thing in the middle of his forehead, which is a real bummer. He's probably not going to stay with me long term. He'll probably just end up as a shelf sitter or a custom project for someone else, but that's the Shetland. The G2 Arab, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with. He's this really nice steel gray color, and I wasn't expecting to actually like him this much. This mold is definitely pretty hit or miss for me, but I do like the fact that he's rearing. It's fun. His tail is pretty nicely done. There's a little bit of fading into the body color. His shading is quite nice, and yeah, he's actually a pretty cute little dude. And then finally we have the Tushar, who's described on the box as a Bay Roan Cobb. But I really don't think this is Bayron. To me, he looks more like a Gruya type thing, but he doesn't have a dorsal stripe. So I think what he really is at the end of the day is one of Briar's fun little imaginary colors that tend to be put on the more lower cost models like the Stablemates. But I don't really care because he's actually super duper cute. This is the first time I've held the Tushar mold in my hands. And he's a super sweet little guy. He's a little bit cartoony. And honestly, I think he's a little bit leggy for a cob. He definitely doesn't look like a gypsy cob body type so I have no idea what he would actually show as but whatever he's cute I don't really care and also his tail is like almost straight up glossy it even has the super slick smooth glossy feel so that's kind of cool I guess thank you for joining me on my fun little stablemate hunt today we have acquired a bay Django, so that means today was very much successful even though there were not any goth albicorns or pink Icelandics to be found I am super duper happy and I'm sure the other guys will just come in time so thanks for watching see you later